mistress of the school in 1944. Uh, she is an efficient and excellent teacher. Uh, she is as strict with herself as she is with the others. Uh, and the students love her. Uh, Mother, but Mother Teresa is very cordial to everyone, uh, but she has no friendships and no distractions uh, because she is in love with God. Uh, she enjoys teaching, uh, but her soul is disturbed by the unspeakably foul poverty uh, that surrounds her in India. Uh, Calcutta is a battleground of nine million people, uh, the biggest city of the Indian subcontinent. Uh, the slums at this point in time are exploding, uh, and many destitute people walk the streets of Calcutta. Uh, Calcutta is a city of imposing Victorian architecture uh, and the former royal residence of the colonial facade. Uh, the 1940s is a turbulent time in the history of India. Uh, the Great Bengali Famine hits in 1942, and hundreds of thousands of starving refugees walk the streets of Calcutta. Uh, the famine brings more misery and death to a city that is already overflowing with it. Uh, Mother Teresa sees what is happening. Uh, she sees what's happening behind the convent and behind the walls of the school. Uh, she sees the dreadful conditions. Uh, and her soul is drawn to it. Uh, on September 10th, 1946, Mother Teresa will receive her second calling from God on a long train ride to Darjeeling on the way back from her annual spiritual retreat. Uh, she hears an inner voice, an inner voice that tells her to go out and serve the poorest of the poor. Take care of the homeless, take care of the sick and the dying, says this inner voice. Uh, Mother Teresa is motivated by the words of Christ and plans to put God's love into action. Uh, the train ride transforms her life. Uh, she does not hesitate. Uh, she does not question. She does not question this voice that she hears in her soul. Uh, and this moment is the beginning of the missionaries of charity. Uh, at, this, at this exact same moment, Gandhi's movement is marching towards independence. This movement of uh, this peaceful movement, uh, Gandhi's uh, uh, marching towards independence from Great Britain. Uh, but riots are also breaking out in, uh, in Calcutta as Muslims and Hindus kill each other by the thousands. Uh, and the city is plunged into an abyss of horror and despair. Mother Teresa knows that she must leave the convent in order to help the poorest of the poor. Uh, and li she wants to live with them. Uh, she feels she has no choice in the matter. Uh, she has been chosen by a higher authority. Uh, to make matters even worse, Gandhi is assassinated, and the Hindus and Muslims now separate. Uh, there will be two nations. India will be the nation for the Hindus, while Pakistan will be the country for the Muslims. Mother Teresa wants to remain a nun but knows deep in her heart that she must leave the Loretto order and start a new order. This is the moment when Sister uh, Teresa becomes Mother Teresa, and she seeks papal authority and the permission of the bishops in Calcutta uh, as refugees from Pakistan begin to crowd the chaotic streets of Calcutta. Uh, Mother Teresa leaves the Loretto sisters after 20 years. Uh, she is 38 years old and enters a world, enters an India in turmoil. Uh, India is plagued by tragedy at this point. Uh, its dream of unity shattered uh, by widespread violence and savage killings. Uh, millions of people have been uprooted. Uh, they stream into Calcutta uh, with no money, no plans, and no hope. Mother Teresa has gotten her way and received, uh, rejoined the world. She's rejoined the world walking out of the convent's walls to find a city filled with catastrophic hygiene problems, uh, squalor, uh, and outbreaks of cholera. Uh, Mother Teresa will take several months of basic training uh, at the Holy Family Hospital. Uh, she takes four, uh, several months of basic training in nursing. 
uh, and, well, then becomes a beggar herself. Uh, she begs. Uh, she asks for alms in order to buy milk for the children and rice for the elderly. Uh, the lack of medical care is a major problem, and Mother Teresa walks the streets of Calcutta begging uh, until she is exhausted. Uh, but God wants her here. Uh, God wants her to share uh, their desolate existence. Eventually, uh, permission from the Pope arrives, uh, permission from Pope Pius XII to establish a new order. This new order will be called the Missionaries of Charity. Uh, Pope Pius XII uh, has guided the Church through the immense conflict of World War II uh, and has begun an immense program of relief for its victims. Uh, Jewish people, refugees, and POWs, for example. Uh, this often misunderstood pontiff uh, spoke many times on radio and television on social reforms. Uh, and he speaks many times on TV and radio about the dignity, freedom, and value of all people. Uh, the Pope is very sympathetic and encouraging to what Mother Teresa seeks to accomplish. Uh, Mother Teresa begins her unending work uh, by picking up a man off the streets, a man that is being eaten alive with worms, and, uh, well, stinks so bad that nobody can get near him. Uh, she picks him up off the streets. She cleans him up, uh, and he asks her why. He asks why she is helping him. Because God loves you, and I love you, says the future saint. Uh, it has not been easy for her. Uh, a white woman walking the streets of Calcutta alone, going into one slum after another. Uh, she is dog-tired every night and doesn't know how she will find the strength to do it again the next day. Uh, it has been difficult beyond words. Uh, but she has an amiable, uh, amiable expression on her face. Uh, this face is already looking old. Uh, and she speaks well in Bengali, uh, adapting herself to Indian life. Uh, she no longer wears a nun's habit, but a simple blue and white sari. Uh, at first, a Belgian priest, a Father Van Exen, uh, helps, uh, helps Mother Teresa in any way he can. Then 26 young girls soon join her. Uh, these girls are former pupils uh, that now become nuns in the new order. Uh, they become nuns in the missionaries of charity. Uh, they follow Mother Teresa into the desolate quarters of the city of Calcutta. They will all live like the poor, surrounded by poverty and suffering, uh, finding within themselves a uh, special type of freedom. Uh, they are all in love with God, uh, and they are all in love with the Catholic Church, the spiritual and human aspects of that church. Uh, for each person was created by God to love and be loved. And the greatest of all love is the love for the poorest of the poor. All right, with that thought, we're going to take uh, another musical break. Uh, we will continue with the amazing life, legend, and legacy of Mother Teresa.